I guess I've always had a European flair for romance. As far back as I can remember, I've been in love with love. I've always loved women. What a gender. I, I have nothing against men, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, like dad. <laughs> I mean, dad, dad was the greatest. Except for his stogies. I love you, kid. You got the whole world at your feet. But, but women? I mean, really. What's not to love? I remember that horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach with my first girlfriend, Wee Wee. Well, her real name was Lily, but I couldn't pronounce my L's yet. I loved her completely. Blue eyes, blonde hair. She had the cutest little nose, but I was jilted. <coughs> Cheated on at age one. Unfortunately, this sort of thing became routine. I don't know why, but I was always attracted to the same types of girls. Heartbreakers. <laughs> I decided not to waste any more time with bimbos. I mean, besides, what do bimbos have to do with real love? I was on a quest, a quest for true love, and I wasn't gonna stop until I found it. Sure, things got a little rocky, but I vowed never to stop in my search for true love. Really on an airplane? Am I really going to meet this girl's family? I mean, why can't I just say no? Isn't this exciting? Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> God, look at those lips. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat belts. We'll be landing in Itabina, Mississippi momentarily. <laughs> Is everyone going to act like a black man is at our table? He's only Jewish. <coughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> Ooh, I'm freezing. So much for a romantic walk in the moonlight. Warming up a bit. Yeah. I thought we'd never fish you out of that swamp. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when, when's your daddy come? Mm, he had to run out to a meeting. It's nothing personal, but Fritz won't be in the same room with your kind. Great. Adolf Hitler's gonna be my father in law. Holy cow! Dad. Hey, Fritz. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. I love making love to you. Oh. <coughs> How's this feel? The right thing, the sane thing, would be to walk out of here right this second. This feels great. <laughs> Does this feel good? <laughs> These people are nuts. Can you imagine having a kid with this woman? The mangled genetics, the, the garbled DNA, a, a baby Klansman, a circumcised Nazi? This feels sensational. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, Bear. Yeah. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> appointment with Dr. Reed. I think I'm pregnant. Congratulations. Go right in, dear. Room one. Oh, honey bear, wish me luck. Oh, my God. This isn't the way it's supposed to be. This girl has cheated on me. She's lied. She's irresponsible. Do you understand the consequences of this moment? Say something. Oh, honey bear, aren't you gonna say something? Anything. New fathers are always this way. Go in, dear. The doctor will be with you. You little shit, you don't love her, do you? What? Excuse me. 
Excuse me, I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> um, would it be possible for me to see uh, the urologist, uh, Dr. Parker? What is the nature of your problem? <laughs> it's uh, a little personal. Yes. I, um, I, I have a growth. But I thought that, you know, since I was here... Herpes, a cluster, an open sore, you get what you deserve. I beg your pardon? Room two. Thank you. Greg DeGilt, Greg DeGilt, come in, please. Mayday, Mayday. Do you love her, Craig? Do you love her? You know, love and care are different. Love is when you want to be with somebody, no matter what size their breasts are. <clears throat> Dr. Parker, how may I help you? Well, I, I have a... I have a little... I, no, it's not... But, no, it's not... Well... It's kind of... I, I have a... I have a... I have a... I have a... I have a I, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a growth. Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> what, what do you do? Oh. You're at the urologist. So she's a woman. You hardly know her. Oh, this can't be happening. Concentrate on anything. Football, track and field. She doesn't even have big breasts. Just relax. Relax. Brain to penis, brain to penis. Think of that foul tip you took in fourth grade. Ooh. Moldy vegetables, bad investments. She's not even my type. She's intelligent. She's not blonde. Oh, my God. These types of warts are fairly common in men your age. They're usually brought on when the body is under stress, which in turn causes the immune system to become vulnerable to certain types of viruses. She's literate, eloquent. So why am I attracted to her? Now, I'm going to give you a local anesthetic. And then... I'm going to use this machine to burn the wart and the roots away. <laughs> uh, I don't need an anesthetic. What am I saying? Are you sure? I'll try the caveman approach. Positive. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Count to five and it'll be all over. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that... Doesn't this remind you of... Shop? <laughs> Only, where are my goggles? <laughs> Shop? Goggles? Is she kidding? Count to five. Ho, ho, one. Just a 
few more seconds, are you all right? I'm in cremated alive! Burned at the stake! Three. I'm a bone heart, friend! Four. Four. There. All done. How do you feel? <laughs> Never better. Would you like a glass of water? Oh, I'd love a glass of water. Get it yourself, you creep. While you were in there making eyes at the doctor, Annabelle found out she wasn't pregnant. A Annabelle? You're not... How did you know? <laughs> Don't I glow anymore? I ought to kick your teeth in. Why? Well, Don't blame me. I don't blame you. God is punishing me for all the times I cheated on you. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm having a little difficulty handling this particular situation in my life. The wisest thing to do? Eh, uh, just bail out. Greetings, Hoskins Public Relations. May I help you? Good afternoon, Hoskins PR. What can I do you for? Sorry to hear about you and your girlfriend, Greg. Huh? Sorry about you and Annabelle. Hello? Annabelle's been grazing in other pastures, eh, buddy? Who is this? Jeff, is this you? Greg! Hey, buddy! How did this ever happen to me? Greg, get in here right now. Greg, where the hell are you? I need you in my office right now. I have someone very important I want you to meet. Greg, answer me, goddammit! Greg! Greg, Greg, in here now, goddammit! Greg, Greg, I'd like you to meet Dirk Martin. He's going to have his own TV series this fall, Brahma Beach Cop. Oh, that's, that's great. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, dude. The networks are really excited about him. They think he has star potential, kind of a working man sex symbol, a blue-collar hunk. And I'm proud to announce that the Hoskins PR firm has just signed this talented young artist to a long-term contract. How about that, eh? Oh, bitchin'. Say something. Anything. Uh, hey, how, how did you get your part? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Well, see, I was riding my footboards off Hilton Head and... Footboards? Yeah, water skis, dude. Anyway, I made this really cool stand-up beach landing in front of this incredible-looking chick who turns out to be this Hollywood producer. Dude, she took one look at me. She said, You. You what? You. You what? You. I'd like to talk to you a second, Greg. Hey, it was good verbalizing with you, dude. Oh, man, um, like, I'm really sorry to hear about you and your chick. That it happened to me, I'd really be cheesed. <laughs> you hear about Greg and Annabelle? Wipe his nose, wipe his ass for all I give a shit. Just keep him happy. I want you to look after him. Be his babysitter. This kid's my ticket out of here. Why me? You two have a lot in common. You're young. You speak each other's language. You surf, water ski? God, no. I want you to go water skiing with this kid. Mr. Hoskins, I can't swim. I'll drown. Greg, have a little compassion, will you? Look at me dressing up like a cowboy. Do you think I like this? I gotta do these things. This is what I've been waiting for 25 years. The big time. A client on the national level. No more local banks. No more used car salesmen in chicken suits. Do you understand what that means? Yes, sir, I understand. You're a sweet kid. Stay exactly where you are, babe. Don't ever change. By the way, kiddo, since you're not seeing that sexy blonde anymore, you wouldn't mind if I, uh, put her and Dirk together. It'd be kind of a nice gesture. This is going to be great. <laughs> this will be terrific. <laughs> yes? 
I have a follow-up appointment with Dr. Billy Parker. Yes, room two, please. That's it? The doctor will be right with you. Thank you. You're welcome. You sneaky bastard, snipping my pussy, aren't you? No! I'm looking for love! I'm available, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back when you're in your gown. No. No, 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 no. That's okay. Well, if you want me to watch, you'll have to pay extra and, uh... I don't think your insurance covers that. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, uh, how's it hanging? Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't what? believe I said that. I, I, I practiced that in my head all night. I, I thought that, you know, maybe it might loosen my male patients up, but. It sounded really horrible, didn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. it did. I, this is just never going to work out. I'm never going to be a good urologist. Why? Why? What's the matter? Well, just look at you. Look how nervous you are. You're only my third patient, and you're the only one who's come back for a follow-up. Really? And the other two didn't even pass out in my office. I, I, I don't know why you came back. Well, I came back to give you this. Charming <sighs> heel. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're great! Oh, those are great goggles. That's you're funny. That's great. Thank you. I love them. I'll Good. use them. I Good. love them. Oh, okay. um, oh, I, I also came back to ask you uh, if you'd like to go out and have a cup of coffee with me. Boy, you've got a lot of balls. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Oh, you didn't offend me. I was just looking at your chart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but um, really, I, I make it a point of never, never socializing with my patients. Oh. Well, then, if it's a matter of ethics, I won't be your patient anymore. Oh, oh, it's not ethics at all. Of my other two patients, yeah. one has VD and the other had both of his testicles removed. Oh, my God. It's terrible. Just kidding. Just kidding! Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I, I'd love to have a cup of coffee with you. That's great. Yeah? That's yeah, great. okay. Um, when? Let me check my schedule. Okay. How about now? I know it seems a little bit goofy, but I always wanted to be a rebel, an individual, break new ground. While the other students were attracted to the brain or the heart, I thought, why not the penis? I mean, the penis is actually the heart of our society. No matter how liberal-minded some men may be, when it comes down to it, their dick has the final say in almost every major decision. Holy shit. Oh, my parents, gosh, they were not too thrilled with urology. My father, he's an army psychologist, and he says it's the closest a woman can come to neutralizing penis envy without having a sex change. At one point, I thought about opening an office called Comedy Urology. You know, like those traffic schools in L.A. that are taught by comedians? But then I thought, how much could a person laugh during a catheter insertion? Oh, talk about a tough audience. Well, I mean, I liked him a lot. I, I even think that I loved him, but, you know, I just marriage, I mean, that's just not the question. I, I just don't believe in marriage. Oh, no, really? Oh, oh, I do. Really? Oh, well, it's... Really? It's just that, you know, um, I mean, out of all my girlfriends, you know, I mean, they got married, they got pregnant, not necessarily in that order, but uh, it all ended up the same. None of them are happy. Oh. Well, you know, maybe it's because of my parents. Yeah, my parents are, like, they're really different, but they're great, you know, and... I don't know. I, I kind of believe that... that marriage is... It's not an ending, but but it can be more more like a beginning. You know, like a it can be a beginning of of partnership. It, it can be a beginning of uh, 
true commitment. It, it, it can even be, be a beginning of, of freedom. My parents are very distant. Oh. Well, maybe it, it can be the, the beginning of the end. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo la Clown. Oui. This estate is shown by appointment only. Très gentil. Poup, poup, poupon. Goy poupon. How many bedrooms? Seven. Oh, seven. No, no, no. Très, très, très petite. À la, à la Toulouse au truc. Je vais vous les sièges. À la... Webster. Uh, Webster. Ooh. Webster. Oh, c'est la vie. C'est nos morts. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Come along, Bobo. Bye-bye. Wait. Bobo? Well, this house does have a certain charm to it. Oh, perhaps I could bend the rules a bit. Feel free to look around. Merci. What do you think it would be like to really live here? I don't know. Want to find out? Will you marry me? Yes. 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 Bobo. The door is locked, Bobo. Kiss the bride. <laughs> Mazel tov! Mazel tov! <laughs> it means, uh, it means happiness. It means good luck. Oh, it means good luck. Good luck.
like a cardboard square. That's not a cardboard, this is a matzah. You know, I always wanted my son to be a doctor. Well, he did the next best thing, he married one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. <laughs> it's a little barbecue, but. Great, great, come here. Come here. I want you to meet one of my best friends from high school, Mary Hi. Miller. Hi. Kim, Kim, out of the cake. Buster, that's enough punch. <laughs> that is enough punch, I said. <laughs> Did you. What are you watching? Oh, it was a wonderful wedding, don't you think? Yeah, you know, the China doll. Thank you, thank you. Mary Miller. Mrs. Well, Parker. Okay, I'm going to scan the house. I don't understand it. What do you do in South Carolina? In a place where it's so good, I don't understand it. How do you do? What's going on? I'm really proud of him. I hope he's going to be here. Okay, I'm going to be here. Hey, hey! two jobs and well, Kim's been sick. Oh. We've had three ear infections in three months. And Buster is a holy terror and Jim <laughs> Jr.'s already taking after his dad. <laughs> He's so mischievous. I barely have time to light a cigarette. <laughs> like to have a walk with you, your father? Sure. <laughs> so how have you been? Oh, busy as ever, busy as ever. Fantastic university. Very progressive, doing great things here. Fantastic country. I've loved it ever since I was stationed at Fort Jackson. Now they got me down in Florida. In other words, son, take good care of my Billy, or I'll break into 10,000 little pieces. Sir? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love Billy very, very much. Yeah. You know, one time when Billy was a little girl, she came home from visiting a friend of hers. She was physically ill. Her mother and I tried to get her to tell us what was wrong. Figured she caught a cold, eating something bad. She got around to telling us, she said that the men at the house were out on the porch smoking and telling stories. The wife was inside doing the housework. She was only 30. But this is the part I remember just like it was yesterday. She was only 30, but her life was over. That's what made Billy so sick. How are you gonna raise the kids? We're Catholic, you know. Well, uh... Is it true you gave the judge 20 bucks not to mention the word God? <laughs> uh, well... 10,000 I... little pieces, son. Huh? Greg works with Dirk Mott. Really? What kind of a guy is he, Greg? Seems pretty intelligent. Hey, Greg, dude! You finally decided to make it! Hey, what took you so long, man? You searching for your huevos? I got married, Dirk. So, uh, what do you think of my new place, man? Not bad for my first time, huh? <laughs> Look, uh, Dirk, I gotta talk to you. Honey bear, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She's a 
swell chick. Real screamer, huh, dude? Okay, uh, what'd you want to talk about? I'm a good listener. I can't swim. Don't worry, man. I will personally take you out. <laughs> dude can't swim. <laughs> with our neighbors as soon as we mount a gun rack on the VW. <laughs> mm. Gregory, when are you going to find a real job? What's that noise? Is that running water? I'm doing the dishes. Doing the dishes? He's doing the dishes? What did he get married for? Billy and I have a deal. She cooks, I do the dishes. I cook, she does the dishes. You cook? He cooks? God help the world. I give this marriage one week. Ma, I gotta go. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. It's just... Your mother's talking to you. Don't play the big shot just because you're married. She's still your mother. Greg, did you read the article on Steven Spielberg in the paper today? Ma, we live in different cities. We have different papers. Greg, do you know him? No, Ma. He seems like such a nice, accessible Jewish boy. That's nice, Ma. You should get to know him. I'm sure all of Hollywood would love to know Steven Spielberg, Ma. I gotta go. Maybe you could have lunch with him, Greg. Maybe you could just have lunch with him. I'm telling you, the two of you would probably hit it off. Ma, we live in different cities. What am I gonna do? Ask Steven Spielberg to come to South Carolina for lunch? You never know. Write him a letter. Write him a letter, Gregory. I'll write for you. Thank you, Ma. Bye, sweetheart. You slut, you vixen. I want your swollen body. What? I mean, you can have my swollen body. I want your swollen lips. Oh, jam your love tool into my passion canal. Oh, my studly rather stands awaiting with a bated breath. Well, tell it to gargle and floss and get the hell in here. My flowing river of love can wait no more. Oh, but alas, poor maiden, my atoll cannot swim. It can bask in the sun as it floats on the jism of love. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me, sir. <laughs> Get me you should. <laughs> me you should. Oh, I love it when you sing to me. Mm, I'm glad that we got chummy. Chummy. Because something's cooking in my tummy. Tummy. Don't stop. <laughs> Here's another clue. Uh-huh. We might grow up to look like you. Like you. Exactly what do you say? 
pregnant. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> to Time Life Books. Yeah, there's a rat behind that there wall. You hear him? Yeah. Ah! Jesus! God! Now what are you doing? Oh! It might smell for a while, but you'll get used to it. I actually like the smell myself. breastfeed him, I might as well be able to give him baths. Uh, him? Her. It. I don't care what we have as long as it's healthy. As long as it's healthy and it doesn't bark. As long as it's healthy it doesn't bark, I have three sixes hidden on a scalp. All right. Ask you something? Yeah, sure, sweetheart. Well, would it be all right if my mother came and stayed with us for a little while? Sure. Really? Sure. Really? Sure. Oh, honey, that'd be so great. You know, we don't know anything about babies, and and she would be so happy if she good, could good. really it's help okay. us oh, out. It's okay. Oh, jeez, honey, don't cry. Oh. Don't. <laughs> Newlyweds. Expecting. How nice. Did you bring your checkbook? Best friends in our whole world. All right, come on in. Oh, mommy, yeah. look at that. Oh, you look at the Sweetheart? Mom?
Everything looks just fine. Any day now. Evelyn. Don't worry, Billy. Um, many first pregnancies are a week or two late. Everything's fine. Mom? Mom? Yes, honey? Ma, is this what it's like when my water breaks? Honey? What did she say? Honey? I just don't think we ought to take any chances. Sweetheart? Did she say her water broke? <clears throat> That's great. <laughs> Why didn't she tell me? Honey? Sweetheart? Would you like to see a doctor? Why did you leave without me? Oh, Greg, I think we're about to have our baby. Oh, come down. Come down. It's an emotional time. Come down. What are you doing to my wife? Some euconium was found in her water, which could mean the child is in trauma, so we're hooking her up to a pitocin drip to induce labor. Oh, my God, no! Oh, here, Why, no, Greg, sir. Oh, here, oh, Greg, take this. Nice chip. Oh, thank you. They're not for you, sir. They're for your wife. Oh, oh. I'm going to go on home now. I don't want to be in the way. We'll call you as soon as we know something. Call me, even if you don't know something. Now, I want to report every hour on the hour. Yes, Mom. Bye-bye, yes. sweetheart. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. Stay in touch. Yes, Mom. I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, honey. Hi. Look, they just hooked me up. See the digital readout? Oh, yeah. That's the baby's heart monitor. Oh, 160 beats per minute. <laughs> it's kind of like mine. <laughs> yeah, it's all. And, and over here is the graph. See that graph? Yeah. We'll see how it's almost all the way to the top? That measures my contractions. Oh. I can barely feel anything. Oh, maybe it's all downhill from here. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Do something! Do something! Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 w
Let's get back. Boy, those contractions, they seem to be coming a little faster, a little stronger. No, shit! I want drugs! Give me drugs! I want drugs! Honey, honey, this isn't like you at all! No! Pushing Billy. Evelyn, she's been in labor for over 20 hours. She's been pushing for the last four hours. I'm sorry I tried to call you, but I have. No, that's not true. Fathers take a much more active role these days, Evelyn. I. All right, I'll tell him. Jerry. Evelyn says. Stop dicking around and do a fucking C-section right this goddamn minute. Yes, I think she's right. Really? Evelyn, you're right. Good going. Evelyn? You're doing great. Scapel? Is the baby out yet? You're making the incision now. You didn't feel anything, did you, Billy? No. Nothing. about Natasha. Oh, God forbid. They killed our people. I don't like it. What about sky? Sky? Like clouds in the sky? What, is she an Indian or something? Mom. It's short for Skylar. 
Well, why don't you just call it Running Goose? Sky, Sky. <laughs> what are you, hippie or something? Dad, what do you think? I think it's sweet of you and Billy to ask. Mm -hmm. It's none of our business. We've already had our chance. And if you ask me, the names Greg and Billy aren't exactly works of genius. But since you asked, I like your first choice. Chloe. Okay. Chloe it is. I don't like it. I don't like it either. The folks got off okay. Where's my shorts? I'm gonna give the baby a bath. Where's my t-shirts? Where's my socks? Look at this. Aww. Look how she loves you. You love your bath, don't you, mm -hmm. sweetie? She loves your grandma, too. Mm -hmm. well, grandma loves you. She's so beautiful. This bath I'll never forget. <laughs> Has anybody seen my t-shirts, or my shorts, or my socks, or my shoes, or my pipe wrench? Well, your shorts and your socks are in your top drawer, and uh, your shoes are in the closet under the t-shirts, which I hung up, and the tools are in the big cabinet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Greg, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what's the matter? is spotless, and I can't find the goddamn thing. Well, my mom got a little nervous during my labor, and when she gets nervous, she, she does housework. She ironed my jock strap. She loves you. With spray starch. I thought I was the one who was supposed to give the baby baths. You give the baby lots of baths, honey. But I was supposed to give it its first bath. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, uh, tonight, tonight, I'll express my milk. And you can give the baby her first feeding. What do you say? Do you think that you feel? Yeah. That'll be great. Okay? Yeah, okay. Oh. And I'm so sorry. So, I'm sorry. So. Okay. So, okay. So. Um, It's time, what time is it? It's 2.45, darling. Oh. I'm on my way, sweetheart. Oh! oh. oh. I come, honey. Daddy's coming. Oh! What do you want? What do you want? 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you want? how much of this to use this much and now I know where to put it I put it a little here I put it a little here oh my god oh my god Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to uh, I hate to interrupt this wonderful meal we're having, and I, I think you'll agree it is a great meal. But uh, we are not here to eat, of course. We're here to uh, honor someone with what you know as the Hemisphere Award. The Hemisphere Award was designed, of course, to honor in some small way a distinguished South Carolinian, and I think our our honoree tonight certainly fills that bill. Please welcome and honor Mr. Dirk Martin. <laughs> Dude, you told me I'd win. <laughs> it's not a competition. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Darling, wanna mess around? Gonna start exercising soon? You think I'm fat? I didn't say that. <gasps> That's it, isn't it? You think I'm fat? You used to think I was cute. You are. Now you're a little overweight. I was just wondering if you're gonna exercise or if you plan on following Bullwinkle in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. How dare you? I just had a baby, your baby. I'm still breastfeeding. I'm at work part-time, and I'm staying up nights, and I'm exhausted because you won't do your part. My part? Yes, your part. The baby rejects me. She wants mommy. What am I supposed to do about that? Get up with me. Make an effort with my mother. You know what? I think I'm doing more than my share around here. I'm the one who brings home the bacon in this household. I'm the one who has to work with sleaze balls for the good of my family. Don't lay that on us. You just quit. I'm perfectly capable of bringing home the bacon. <laughs> oh, that's great. Spoken like a true realist. You are the only doctor on the planet Earth that qualifies for food stamps. I mean, I knew there was such a thing as a bad doctor. Didn't know there was such a thing as a poor doctor. Lucky me. I had to marry both. Oh, there's your cue. There's your cue. Roll over and play dead. What's that supposed to mean? Every time the baby cries, you either have work to do or you act like you're in a coma. You don't have to worry, dears. I got her back to sleep. Greg, let's make up. Let's be friends. Evelyn? Evelyn? Evelyn, I just came home to get a quick baby fix. She's reading the Bible? What happened to Mother Goose? Wait a minute. What's she doing? Holy shit! Wait! In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, hi, Greg. Come so soon. So this guy he comes into my office and he says, Hey, Doc, you gotta help me with my kidneys. And I said, 
kidneys. You mean kidneys, don't you? And he says, I said kidneys, did I? Greg. I'd like to see my wife. Oh, Dr. Parker isn't in at the moment. Well, can you tell me where she is? They're cheating on you. She needs some tender loving care. She needs a good lay. Look, you bitch, you tell me where my wife is or I'll beat the crap out of you. <sighs> oh, she's at the Trustis Theater, silly. She's auditioning her comedy material. I can't go in there, buddy. I'm looking for my wife. I said, I'm looking for my wife. They're holding auditions. Nobody gets in. Nobody. Great. A fetus in a fullback's body. Wait a minute. That's not true. Chloe loves you. You're, you're like best friends. I want her to grow up around her grandma. Well, then you'll just have to bring her to visit me, won't you? Billy, I cannot imagine what your father would have done if my mother had come and stayed with us right after we were married. It's just not right. Besides, Frank needs me, too, you know. Mom, Greg loves you. Billy, Greg loves me because he has to. I want him to love me because he wants to. I wonder who will get to help with the baby. You'll figure something out. Listen. Your father and I have made some mistakes in our lives. But the biggest mistake we ever made was when we stopped trying. Oh, I just wish I had some kind of special box with all the wisdom in the world in it I could give you, honey. But I know part of growing up is learning to make your own mistakes. But you promise me one thing, will you? Don't ever stop trying. I promise, Mom. I promise. It's oh, my baby. It's my girl. I've got to pack her. I'm going to miss that baby. Dearest Greg, I wish there was some way I could convey to you how I really feel and how sorry I am if for any reason I offended you or overstepped my boundaries in any way. Chloe is my first grandchild and Billy my only daughter. This should be a wonderful time for all of us. Thank you for loving my daughter. Thank you for giving us a grandchild. And please forgive my misplaced enthusiasm. With love, Evelyn. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, eat your eggy. Come on. Eat your eggy for dad, dad, dad. No! What did you say? No. Billy! Billy, Billy, come here! What's the matter? What's the matter? Billy! She just said her first word. She said no! Oh, baby, that's wonderful. Say it for mommy. Say it for mommy. Come, come on, on. Say it again. Come on, say it for mommy. No. Say it again. Someone caring, 
loving, responsible, experienced, a good cook, doesn't mind cleaning, drives a car, and can handle emergency situations. Yes. yes. In other words, you need a mother-in-law. She, she left. left. Just another minute, just, just another two second. Seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> Film in the camera. There's, there's no cake. You were supposed to get the film. You were supposed to get the oh, cake. No, no, no. You were supposed to get the film, and no. you were supposed to get the oh, cake. Oh no, no, no. I no, got no. the clown, the party favors, and the decorations. Doesn't that just suck the big one? $65. BB outfit. $31 and four. Popples slippers. Care Bear nightwear. My Little Pony video. My God, where do you shop? Cartoon land for sucker parents? I mean, what happened to sales? What happened to discounts? What happened to sanity? I'm doing the best that I can. If you don't like it, you do the shopping. Fine. I will. I don't suppose you're bothered checking sizes or uh, gender. See, these are lovely. She's never eaten a marble. She might like that. Let's see. They want to live in. Must be good with baby. Must have experience. Must cook. Must drive. Must speak English. Seventy-five dollars a week. <laughs> hey, buddy. You don't need a nanny. You need a wife. <laughs> How did this ever happen to me? <laughs> oh, shit. He's a man, he's a boy, he's Brahma. Brahma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brahma. Woo-hoo. Yeah, I give it a bitch, Brahma. That's no more. Yeah. Yeah, give it a Dark, 
You have an interview with Time Magazine in 15 minutes. Time Magazine. Relax. Check out some of the chicks. <laughs> Petty, eh? Wanna get high? Great, my man! Go for it! Actually, whenever I want to get inebriated, I hyperventilate. Make love to me. I think I'm hyperventilating. Oh. Please? Oh, my God. What am I doing? Stop it. Greg, you're a happily married man. I'm sorry, miss. I'm a happily married man. You don't look so happy. She's right. I don't look so happy. I don't feel so happy. Well, I feel happy now. You know, a lot of people cheat. Good people cheat. Intelligent people. Oh, look at that new bio body. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Brain to conscience. Brain to conscience. Mayday. Mayday. Bypass lust. Speak to me. Speak to me. Oh my god. What am I doing down there? Come on, Greg. Do the nasty. Jumper bones. Do the wild thing. Real commitment. True partnership. What a crock of male bullshit. This is your chance. I dare you. Come on, show your true colors. Do the wild thing. <laughs> I usually tell jokes by appointment only. <laughs> Who says the appendix is a useless organ? It's made lots of doctors rich. <laughs> but not me, of course, because I will be paying off my uh, med school loan for the next 30 or 40 years. I want to leave you with this thought. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm just no good, but what the heck? Where else are you gonna get anesthesia this cheap? <laughs> sort of liked me. Can you believe it? You're very funny. This is like a dream come true. This is like what we talked about on our first date. Oh, can you believe it? Yes. I can believe it. I've never seen you drink before. I've never seen you on stage before. How'd that look? You look fine. Really? Really? I mean, you don't think that I need a facelift, you know, get rid of my wrinkles now that I'm in showbiz? Maybe while you're at it, you could get a tummy tuck. Maybe a hiney hoist. Don't forget some silicone on the old boobies for Dada. I mean, now that you're in show business, you don't want to look like a Ubangi mother at 12. What is your problem? I almost got fired today. I also got a letter in the mail apprising me that there have been three cases of head lice at our daughter's daycare center. Oh, well, that's very common. It's very common. It's very common in the swamps of Louisiana. It's very common in third world countries. Keep your voice down, please. It's very common in the cocaine fields of Bogota. It's very common among the Shiites in West Beirut. It's very common among the inmates in Folsom Prison. Hey, keep it down, buddy. And I'm sure it's very common to him, but we're talking about head lice on our little baby girl. Okay, buddy, you have to... Now, wait, wait, Biff. Come on, come on, come on, you guys, really. I'm gonna take him home now. I guess everything's all right. We have another mouth to feed. We have another another brain to educate. We have a life to take care of. We've lost our freedom. I was already for this, goddammit. Calm down. Let's talk about it. I've lost track of my wife. I don't remember why we fell in love. We're strangers. I don't remember what it's like to be alone with you. Darling, calm down. This is all fixable. 
What would make you happy? Happy? I want to be in love again. I want to feel in love again. I want to. I want to feel. I want to feel creative. I mean, you're doing your stupid comedy shit. I want to feel hopeful again. Did you hear something? No. God. You're gonna give me a fucking conversation with you. Darling, calm down. I'll be back in two minutes. What's the matter? Something wrong? Mr. Haskins, I've spent more time with an untalented, overpaid, drugged out surfer than I have with my family. I brought a child into a world of impending nuclear disaster, and my roof leaks. I've spent more money on my little girl's preschool than I did on my entire college tuition. People are getting sucked out of jetliners at 20,000 feet. Peanut butter is insoluble. The fish in the fucking sea are toxic. There's lead in our public drinking fountains. I'm growing tits from eating too much chicken and my marriage is falling apart. Greg, calm down. I think you're having a nervous breakdown. Yep. God damn right, I'm having a nervous breakdown. Now, I want my vacation, the one you owe me. Two weeks, starting today. I'm taking my family to see Michelangelo's David, whether you like it or not. Fine. Fine? Fine? That, that's... Greg, this is showbiz. Holla, scream, act like a shit, and you get what you want. Brahma's been canceled. <laughs> oh, 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 Chloe, Chloe, we won! We're going, we're going, we're going! <laughs> we won, honey, we won, we won, we won! I didn't say we were moving to Italy. It's a vacation, not a garage sale. What's in it for Christ's sake? Greg, we're traveling with a child. A child, not to be in a boy's choir. Then why are we here so early? It's good to be early. Yeah, but by half the day, I mean, Greg, isn't that a wee bit anal? If my anal area is a wee bit tight, it's because I'm carrying enough luggage to get a whole hogan or hernia. I'm going to be Quasimodo by the time we hit Rome. And you know what it's like to go through customs? We might as well be the Circus Vargas. Greg, stop. 
turn around. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look in my eyes. Calm down. You're starting to act like an old crab. Now cut it out. Look at my smile. Look at her baby. We're a family. We're on vacation. Come on. Let's try and have a good time. Here? <laughs> Pillow? I'd like one. Okay. I want one too. There Thank you go. You. What do you say? Thank you. Tell me again, Daddy. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna fly all the way to a place over here. Okay? It's called London. Then we take a little airplane and we go to a place called Rome. Then we get in a train. Okay? And that train goes all the way into tunnels and in the mountains. <laughs> and then we end up in a place called Florence. And that's where we're gonna see Michelangelo's David. <laughs> give me five, give me five. <laughs> and we're gonna end up in a place called Florence. And it's gonna be very beautiful. And that's where we're gonna see my honey. I want you to hold that with two hands. Because if you spill that on dead. So? Why are you telling me? Mommy always takes your party, sweetheart. I'll take you, darling. Yeah. No, I want Daddy. You too? You want Daddy? Daddy, you think you party? I'll hold it. Me and my girl. Thanks. Here we go, honey. Come on, put your arms around me. Let's go party. And then we're going to take a train ride all the way to a place called... Daddy, I have to go party. <laughs> okay. Put your arms around there. Let's go party. <sighs> and then we're gonna see Michelangelo's David. It's a very beautiful statue. Daddy. I know. You have to go party. No. I want PP in my pants. Who made the pie? I made the pie. Who stole the pie? I stole the... Chloe? Two hands on that Pepsi. If you spill that Pepsi on Daddy's lap, I'm gonna leave you with a big, fat Italian woman with a mustache who eats children for breakfast. <laughs> Don't you ever get sleepy, honey? I'm not tired, Daddy. No. She sure is a daddy's girl. Oh, excuse me, miss. How much longer do we have? The plane will be taking off any minute now. So why don't you relax and enjoy 14 hours in the air? Daddy. Yes, honey? I spilled my Pepsi on you. What? <laughs> oh, God. Would a Dr. Billy Parker please depress your call button and identify yourself? Mommy, that's you. What's going on? I don't know. Dr. Gil Jaffe, Oncology Nurse Station. Dr. Jaffe, to Oncology Nurse Station, please. Andy. Your mother's fine. You should be pleased to see her. Can I see her now? Okay, yeah, she was doing the cooking and everything was okay, and then uh, the next minute, uh, what did the doctor say? He says she's gonna be all right. Uh, 
gone in a couple of days. <laughs> This hospital is throw away those damn cigarettes. I love you so much, Mom. I love you. I love you, sweet. <laughs> Billy. Oh. I love the name Chloe. Baby kangaroo feels like. Yes, we Just terrific. So sorry I took you away from the David. Not a real person, it's just a statue. Mommy told me a little about your trip. She said you all got exhausted and you didn't even leave Columbia. <laughs> I think next vacation we'll spend it in bed. <laughs> Greg, take good care of my baby. I'm not the greatest father, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. No, your baby's fine. Take good care of my baby. Bye. Bye, baby. Mommy, you trust me. Uh, I don't know. You want to do it? <laughs> oh, that's lovely, I'm sure. <laughs> Daddy, is that what the Italian lady's going to look like? That you're going to leave me with? <laughs> no, more like Darling. this. More like this. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. 
No! Excuse me, Mr. Parker. Could I speak with you for a moment, please? Chloe, come here. Daddy needs to hug you. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Parker. Well, let me go get her. Uh huh. I think she's resting. She's uh, going through a, a rough time now. Sure, I'll let her know. Okay, bye bye. I love you too.
I know I should have rented a car. God, there goes my mother. Oh, People really live like this? I can't believe this. Man. God. Jesus. Ah. Anyway, uh... Greg, I can't tell you how important this is to me. I'll tell you, on, on a scale of one to ten, this is... This is at least a million, for Christ's sakes. Greg. Look at that sky. Jesus Christ. What are you looking at? Evelyn is a part of that sky. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's important. The little bastards just came off a plant and now kids love them. I think they're a gold mine. Mr. Hoskins, you want their account and you're calling them the little bastards right in front of where they live? That's their name, the little bastards. They fired the pianist, went through the roof. They sing uh, obscenities a cappella with all that uh, that bullshit drum shit. Yeah, it's called rapping, Mr. Hoskins. I don't relate to that at all. That's because I think they're pigs and they know that, and for some reason they like that. But you, you're young. You were brought up on that drum shit. You can become friends with the little bastards. What do you tell me what you're looking at? Hey, are you listening to me? What are you looking at, Greg? I need your attention 100% of the time. If you pay attention to what I tell you, together we can make a fortune. Come in, asshole, if you dare. And you can bring your friend, Derriere. Yo, I got this chick. She's really fun. You know, she likes to do it all the time. Don't all let the it get to you. Just keep time. thinking about how much money we're going to make. do it all, all the time. time. Sure is quiet around here. It hasn't been this quiet in four years. Now that Chloe has her little school, the house seems kind of empty, doesn't it? How much time do we have? Going. Greg! Greg, what are you doing? Give me a hint. Come on, Greg! Champagne. Microwave popcorn. Hot peppers. Ooh. Ice cream sandwiches. I've always wanted to paint. Then you should. Well, you know, maybe I could take some classes. I've always wanted to do that. Then you will. You just will. Mm -hmm. And you know what I could do? Hmm. I'll build you a place out on the porch. Maybe it's semi-enclosed. So you can paint in the sun if you want, or you can paint in the shade. You can paint any time you want. How does it sound? Oh, that'd be great. So what do you say? <laughs> you want to have another baby? Go ahead. Have a good time. Make a baby. What do you think, Evelyn? That's what it's all about, kids. It's still the same old story. A fight for love and glory. I can't. Well, you 
see, well, 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 I, I, I kind of put you there. Yeah, you see, I, pu I put you there with, um, I put you, I put you there with, with my love. Why does your love come? Give me your finger. It comes from here. It comes yeah. from, yeah, from my heart. Your heart? Why are you looking at, at me so funny, sweetheart? You understand, don't you? My, my love comes from my heart. But, but, Daddy, how does your heart get in mommy's tummy? Do you stuff it in there? Is, it, is there a magic word? Do you punch it in there? What do you do? Billy!
Come on, come on, come on. 